Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to bring you along as I work on my utensil drawer. This drawer has been an obsession of mine for about a year now. We, for the life of us, cannot find a utensil holder that actually fit the drawer. And we've tried everywhere. We've tried Bed Bath & Beyond, we've tried online stores, we've tried kitchen stores, we've tried restaurant stores. Couldn't find anything to fit it. They are very wide and they are very deep. So you would think that it would be pretty easy to find one, but it is not so. So we even looked into having someone custom make a drawer organizer for us or a utensil holder for us and they wanted $120. That was a big no hard pass on that one. So with the glory of YouTube and Google, I just did a ton of research for months, got a couple design ideas that I came across, finally figured out what I wanted and I just figured there had to be a way for me to do it myself, which would be a lot cheaper. So I think I came up with a solution. And if you want to see how I got it done, stick around. So this is the junk, or not junk drawer, the silverware drawer that I want to redo. And as you can see, it is a nice size. Um, the current situation that I have going on or setup that I have going on right now is not working. I got these bins from the dollar store and they're okay. I mean they serve a pur the, its purpose but it's not the way I want it to be. Um, these things are constantly sliding back and forth. I've tried putting tack at the bottom of them and they still slide um, the forks, the prongs of the forks are constantly going through the top of these little holes and it's just, I, I, I just don't like it. Um, I, ha I know what I want, I know how I want it to look. Um, as I said before, our problem was that we just couldn't find anything that fit the size of it. I don't know if it's because it's an older house and the drawers are just weird dimensions. I don't know. But today, we're going to get this all cleaned up. As with every project, the first thing I did was pull everything out and put it on the counter and then got ready to give the drawer a good wipe down and clean out. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Once the drawer was cleaned out, I took all of the measurements that I needed of the inside of the drawer because we were going to head over to Home Depot for some supplies and I wanted to make sure I had all of my measurements because I was going to have the guys at um, Home Depot cut the material down to size for us. When we were at Home Depot, we ended up buying some tempered hardboard that was an eighth of an inch thick. And as I had said before, since we had our measurements, I had them cut the measurements down to size. Now, unfortunately, they did cut it a little short all the way around, about a quarter of an inch around, but that's okay. I was going to work with it. We also purchased four sticks of poplar wood that was a quarter of an inch thick because we knew that we didn't want it to be any thicker than that. Once we got home, I started measuring out the poplar wood to be cut down to the dimensions of the tempered hardwood that we were going to use as a base for the utensil holder, and this was going to be the frame.
I'm going to add some Gorilla Glue to the frame and the poplar wood to help stabilize it. You better grab that tambourine, bring a bass, we might be weak. Now I'll repeat the whole process for the remaining two sides. Now to really make sure the whole frame stays together, I'm going to attach some small finishing nails onto the bottom. Now to just see how it looks so far. Next, I'm going to start placing the silverware in there to see how I want it to all lay out. Then they will ever be. Don't you know the job you Once I figured out how I wanted everything to look, I got to work on cutting the dividers, and I did this pretty much the same way as I did for cutting the sides for the frame.
Once I was finished making all of the dividers, I started placing everything back into the drawer. And I am so sorry that this is such a bad angle. I didn't realize how horrible it actually was until I started editing. Never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool. the finished project and I am absolutely loving it. It thrills me when I open up the drawer and I can see everything all at once. I don't have to rummage for anything. I don't have to worry about misplacing anything. Everything is in its new home and it just looks neat and orderly and I am absolutely thrilled. And as always, I want to thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit that red subscribe button and double click on the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one.